because I ain't in the game yet. I went to two Walmarts, Target, and Barnes and Noble, and this book was not there. So that and the internet lets me believe it's not out yet, right? But look what I found at Second and Charles. Dun, 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 dun. That's right. Bro, it was like I was trying to ready this up and it kept saying that I couldn't. Okay, so this today is Saturday night. We're going to read this. So, let's do it. It's Aoife. I can never remember how to say her name. And it's Aoife. I love that name. Kifa. I'm going to be flipping back to the glossary. <laughs> All right. I, I can't hear nothing because I'm calm. But and I already got the three songs. To the left right there in that corner. They jump right into Gypsy's sister and his dad. So it goes without saying, or maybe it does have to be said, that I only read the first two books of this thing, but that's okay because Gypsy's my favorite and I wanted to read his. But they did have quite the spoiler, not really, but about Aoife and Joey. So there's that. But it's, gosh, my heart just breaks for Gypsy. Him and Claire Bear. Read this quote for you. It's all good though. Some of the best things in life aren't meant to last forever. That's why we cherish them when they happen. Like your favorite chocolate in a box or shooting stars. We don't refuse to eat the sweet because once we do, it'll be gone. Or stop looking at the stars after one shoots by. We enjoy the moments because we know it's worth living in. Uh, excuse me, sir. Just play your game. You don't get it. You don't get it. And I got the new cover of this book. So, and all the other books, I have the old covers. You know what that means. This is going to be my personality for the week, lad. So what I'm gonna say all week, lad. I love me a good lad. I love a lad. And I love when Johnny calls her Shannon like the river. Someone You're shit crack. You're killing me, buzz lad. Shut up. Man, I cannot do accents to save me life. Me life. I wouldn't piss on either of you if you were on fire. Fuck you, don't take him. Man. In my head, I sound Irish. Man. So it's Sunday morning now. Everybody's still sleeping. I got my coffee. And I got my book. So, thoughts on the book so far. I just think Gypsy, Claire Bear, are the cutest. Especially when they bicker back and forth about their babies. But, um, I found out that 
see, I don't really remember. I, I feel like they didn't say too much about Lizzie's sister in the first two books because I haven't read thir three and four. Like, if I'm breaking some kind of book rule, I don't care. Um, but they said, I actually said how she um, left the world. So, let's get to reading. People hurt people, bro. Oh my God, Lizzie. Right now he's telling us like, play for play, the day in the boat. Gypsy knows the truth about Lizzie Kiva and Mark. So I'm wondering if it'll come out in the book. Mm. Is that a Kiva? A Kiva. Ah, like I saw him. It took the right gunfight. I just Kiva did. Didn't have the proper gun. Committed ass. So, I want to know what really happened. Because they say in the thing that she was R and then did S. So, I don't really remember what bias. all they said in the first two books about <laughs> it. If Mark and her were in a relationship, I don't remember. But something about a suicide on a S note. But I do remember when Lizzie pushed Gipsy in the river. And then we gave them in now. here reading about how Gipsy still suffers from his shot, so experience like with his dad and his sister wow it just makes that moment that she pushed him so much more like I can't wait till they just get to get there.
Okay. I'm still on Taming 7. And I'm a good bit into it. And I think something happened to Gypsy with Kiva. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't think Mark's a good person. Okay. But did something happen with Mark and Gypsy? Oof. Um, I think I'm on to something. Spoiler alert. No, not to my Gypsy. No. Oh, my God. I knew it. I was yeah there. It wasn't her. It was him. It was him. She must have knew. Oh, gosh. And when he ran into Darren, Darren knew. The victim knew the victim. Oh my God, I got the visuals. <laughs> oh my God. Gypsy said, I'm 17 now, but I was seven when you. So, I had to go get my camera because I'm about to read the letter. I'm about to read the letter. Okay, it's not a good position, but you just deal with it. Position, angle, hold up. <laughs> hold your heart. You know what we say, we don't judge the foil. All right, here we go. Oh, my heart. I was wrong about Kiva. For a second there, I really wanted Claire to Lizzie. Just give her one big And you know, I really wish this book was as big as like Joey and Aoife's book. A big old one. And I probably got like what? Let's see. A little flutter of pages left. That's it. That's it. And then I won't see Gypsy and Claire no more for a while. This, please tell me she got another one coming. Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to go read the other two now. Oh my God. I love Johnny. I love Aoife. I love Shannon. I love Claire. I love Gypsy. Oh, I even love Joey. I love them all. Oh, oh my god oh my god Lizzie got some whoo that's a wrap finished it ate it up 
Now I'm pretty sure we gotta wait a really long time for the another because the way it ended, it, it's gotta be another one. It's got to be. So that's the end of Boys of Tommen. Tommen. I really should look that up. But that's the end of Taman 7. So if you stuck around to the end of this video, thank you. Until next time, happy reading.